on today's vlog. This is the Corona quarantine edition of our video. So I'll probably span, um, I don't know how many days because we don't know how long this is gonna last. Yeah, so it's been officially a week yeah. since the parks have been closed at Disney, mm -hmm. but the resorts closed yeah, Friday. yesterday. So we thought that we'd take a little drive around Disney property, just see what it looks like with no yeah. one there. Because it's been a week since we've been there. We did go to Epcot the last day the parks were open. It was, the crowd volume definitely was down, but there was still quite a few people. Yeah, there, there was. And there was still, from what I saw on Facebook, there was still a lot of people staying at resorts up until yesterday when they were like, you gotta go. Yeah. So. So we're gonna take a ride and see what we can find. Check it out. Maybe that'll be the ninth wonder of the world. The backside of Galaxy's Edge. Even your favorite attraction at Disney is not on. My favorite sign. This is my favorite sign. Actually, it hasn't been on for a while. Really? Yeah, the last yeah. couple times we were up here it was off. I think it's broken. I hope they don't take it down. No Disney buses. No minivans. I mean, and those few cars we're seeing could even be the employees that are still working here because of the animals and things like that. Yeah, that's true. Construction crews. There's Epcot. No monorail. Nothing. It's depressing. 
it's depressing when you come here every single week and it's busy and and now you know, like life. nothing and now there's nothing and it's only been a day since there's been no guests on property well, because they were very clear on like you can't you can't stay here like you don't have to yeah. go home but you can't stay here so there's the entrance to magic kingdom This road here will take us over to, to the um, Magic Kingdom Resort area. Wow, look at all the buses. So they parked all of the buses in the Magic Kingdom parking area. There's a Monsters Inc. Yes. Wow, that's crazy. Look at, oh my gosh. Wow. And there's a mini bus back there, Pluto. This is unlike anything we've this ever is seen. so weird. Unlike anything. I'm like totally geeking out. Right now. <laughs> it's like weird, but like, I don't know how to describe it. I wonder where all the trains are. There's some over there. It's a vacation. Guessing security is working. So you, you can kind of see where the new where the new tram drop is gonna be. Right here. Is not much you know closer than all the, the old TVs trend. are out. <laughs> they're like on a Oh, yeah, screen. they're all blue. You see that in the back. Here's Grand Floridian. Yep, the wedding pavilion. Back there in the wedding pavilion. Where no one's getting married. <laughs> oh, there's a bunny. The only guest on Walt Disney World property. There he is. The Disney bunny. <laughs> Someone had mentioned on Facebook. Facebook. They were asking about all the theme park animals. Like the Disney ducks and squirrels, like how they're gonna do with this because you don't know if they, they are how accustomed they are to finding their own food because there's food, always food on the ground. Look at that. It's such a beautiful night. I know. This would be like a perfect night to sit out at one of like the bars out there. Down in Disney Springs, which is also closed. <laughs> Approaching one of our favorite, if not favorite, resorts. I would say it's my favorite. Yeah, Riverside. Riverside, it's back behind and these trees over here. We were just here a month ago. I know. Thank goodness this didn't happen a month ago. Yeah. It would have been so sad. We stayed here for the weekend and it was busy as usual, if not one of the busiest weekends, mm -hmm. Princess Weekend. And you would never know a month later that the entire resort yeah, would be closed. Riverside. So just to give you guys perspective, we've literally done probably about a 10 mile loop. We weren't filming the whole time, but typically to get from one area to the other, it's at least a Turn right 25. Turn 700 feet onto Epcot Center <laughs> Drive West toward Epcot Center Drive West. 25 minute drive, and it took us about 15 minutes. Could you imagine if you came to Disney and they were able to stay in business. And this is what it looked like. This is what it looked <laughs> like. Like if you were able to drive around property without being stuck for hours on end trying to get from one place to another. And so like funny story about that. So when we got up um, on the morning of the was it the 10K? That we went to have breakfast? Yeah, it was the Sunday. It was the Sunday. 
and we decided like, hey, let's go across property from Port Orleans Riverside to Wilderness Lodge um, to Whispering Canyon, like in that direction. It took us an hour. Yeah. Part, the traffic was like a parking lot. It was probably the worst decision we ever made. So <laughs> we took the exit to Hollywood, not realizing that that would take us right to the parking gate of Hollywood. So we had to stop and talk to security and we told him we went the wrong way. And now we're going like we're going to the park, but we're not going to the park house. But there is no Skyliner. No Skyliner. Where do they put them all? Probably, know, probably in the down there. Probably. Oh, in those little um, cart things over there. Go to Hollywood. We're going to Hollywood. Just kidding. There's like we're, he's like, you just gotta go in like you're going to the park and then go to the exit. I've never seen the parking lot this empty. Not even at like early in the morning. We'll get a front row spot. All right, just go park the car and say we wanted to see what it would feel like. There's Galaxy's Edge back here. For now, we leave Disney. Hopefully they will be back open. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they said at the end of the month and people are saying that looks promising, but I don't know, because everything else around here just keeps getting more and more shut down. Yeah, I feel like every day they're starting to add one more thing. That's not. To make it more restricted. Which I'm okay with, but I wish they would just... Do it all at once. Do it all at once, get it over with, and let everybody move on. Yeah. You know, it's already going to take a toll on the economy. Just get it over with. Yeah, like last night we were going to dinner with friends, and when we were on our way to meet them, the governor called effective immediately that restaurants could no longer serve in their dining room. So we ended up getting burgers and sitting in the bed of um, their truck <laughs> and eating in a parking lot. Yep. Well, we made it back home. Yep. We got dark. Yep. So we couldn't really record anything better. <laughs> the dog is watching us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you saw it. There's obviously nothing there. No one, just that security guard sitting outside of Hollywood waiting for people like us. Yep. So um, hopefully Disney opens back up soon because we're going crazy. At least I'm still working. No, and I will. I mean, technically I'm on spring break next week, but then I have to work from home. Yep. So hopefully we'll come up with some more um, vlogs. Maybe we'll check back and see, you know share what we've been doing on our uh, social distancing <laughs> quarantine adventures um, so yeah hopefully everybody's staying safe and if you have any questions about travel you know we are here to help yeah I mean we can still book it mm -hmm. so yeah we can still do future trips um, so we've already had to reschedule about 
four or five different trips. So um, we're happy to book some more. So let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.